What's up everyone? This is Brandon with Kiesel Guitars and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to restring your headless electric guitar from Kiesel. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is an Allen wrench. We provide one uh, with your instrument. This is for the locking nut so you can loosen the screws, a pair of wire cutters to trim your strings, and then one of your extra Allen wrenches that we provided in your case. This is just for holding the ball end in place at the bridge. Um, if you have a tremolo, um, it's going to be basically the same process, but before you start, you're going to want to shim the trem with something. I have this for an example. Um, this is half of a piece of foam that we actually put underneath our trems before we ship them so that nothing happens uh, in shipping as far as damage with the tremolo hitting against your body. Um, so I just cut this in half, and what I'll do is put this underneath the tremolo, and so you still have access to your fine tuners, but when you loosen a string, your uh, tremolo isn't going to be diving down and uh, digging into your body. Uh, so we don't need this because this is a fixed bridge, so I'll just toss this to the side. So we're going to start off by loosening our high E string here. You're going to want to loosen this all the way as far as it can go. And you'll see a little claw pop out right here at your bridge. So once you get it loose, you're going to want to loosen the string at the lock nut pull that out and now the string should come out with a little bit of a little bit of effort there. So now you can just toss your old string to the side. What you're going to want to do is put your new string, you're going to want the ball end to be vertical so you can get it through the saddle. Put that through your saddle and then get your extra Allen wrench that I was telling you about to push that down into the claw. And then once you got that secure in the claw, you're gonna to wanna to hold, hold tension on that to make sure it's not popping out. Put the string through the locking nut, pull that tight. And then uh, what I like to do is hold down the string at the first fret Tighten down your lock nut, just so it's snug, not so it's too tight. Then what you want to do is put a slight bit of tension on the claw to make sure it's in there secure. And once you do that, you'll get your wire cutters, cut off any excess string. As you see when you do that, even if you have a really good pair of wire cutters, you'll still have a tiny little bit of string sticking out and uh, we don't want that. So what you're going to do is loosen the locking nut, pull the string back ever so slightly, just so it's sitting flush with the locking nut, then tighten it back down. Like I said, just so it's snug, not so it's too tight where you can damage your string. So now you're good to go. You'll tune back up your string. Go. So once you got the rest of your strings on, you just want to go back over and uh, fine tune all the strings because they are new strings, so they are going to be stretching. So you're going to have to retune them and stretch them a couple of times before they start settling in tune. There we go. We're all good to go. Well, I hope this tech tip was helpful for you guys. If there's anything else you guys would like to know how to do, uh, let us know in the comments below and we will try our best to make a video to help you guys out. Thanks so much.